if you bought the laser engraver already, chances are you don't want to spend any more money. But I assure you, you really need to buy the air assist as well. Take a look on the left hand side. Everything looks really good. Then on the right hand side, I accidentally forgot to um, turn on air assist. And that's why you're seeing the burning effect. So as soon as I saw the burning effect, I immediately shut down the project and, uh, and called a night. So in today's video, we're going to be installing this air assist onto this ComGirl Z1 10 watt model. Getting the laser module out is a pain because the two small wires, the power and the PWM is a pain. So we're laying it on the side right now. Inside the package, there's three nozzles. Pick the largest one, which is 38 millimeter. It is exactly the same size as the magnetic cover. If yours doesn't have a mini screw already inside this hole, go ahead and install it. Slightly turn the screw in and then push this nozzle up against the laser module and then tighten the screw. Don't tighten it so much that you'll crack it. Tighten it enough so that it doesn't slip and slide out. Next, turn this little um, 90 degree right angle thing into the next bigger hole. This is what it looks like when you're done. It goes straight out and then goes straight up. On top of the laser module, there's four screws. I've already removed two of them. So next, we're going to install this. Into that position, like so. Insert the two long screws back in and then tighten it. Don't tighten it too much because you'll crack the acrylic instantly. This is the tube that came with the package. On one side is the brass and that goes into the uh, air assist nozzle. On the other side, this feeds through the metal piece that we just attached down and into the 90 degree nozzle angle thing. Press it firmly in. It is exactly just like the 3D printer. So if for whatever reason you need to release the tube, just press on it and then pull the tube straight up. Finally, this is what you'll end up with once you're all set and done. You'll end up with a bag full of stuff that you'll never use, assuming that you're installing on the Z1 10 watt model. They also gave you a roll tape, but that's unneeded, not for this 10 watt model anyway. Use the zip tie that they gave you to tighten everything down so that it looks nice and pretty. But remember not to tighten it too much or else you'll cut circulation off to the tubes. Here's the control switch. Dial it to turn it on. Dial it further to turn on more air circulation. And dial it counterclockwise to turn it off. It is relatively noisy, so I wouldn't sleep next to it. Well, you really shouldn't be sleeping when the laser is turning on anyway. So, hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. I really appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel, and thanks for watching.